Hi, my name is Kristen. Uh, I'm 16 years old. And later today, you will listen to people with long experiences in technology and education. I know nothing about that, but what I do know is how teenagers use social media, and that's what I'm going to tell you about today. Um, first up is Snapchat. Um, the first thing we do when we wake up in the morning, wait, this isn't how teenagers wake up. That's more like it. Um, it's not unusual for people to have 98 notifications like this. It's crazy, I know. Uh, and you might wonder why on earth they are sending this many Snapchats. Well, in 2016, Snapchat released a new function called uh, Snapchat Streaks. So, we, if you, send, you and a friend send each other a snap within a 24-hour period, Snapchat will count the days. Uh, and this function ruined our lives. Um, and the people, every day they have to send a streak to all their friends, like you saw on the last page. And they can send pictures of nature, uh, their friends, homework, their dog, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but most people just send a black picture with two letters, GM, good morning. Uh, and if they're feeling a bit extra creative, they'll add one of these, streak. It doesn't even have to be in the morning. Um, you can also send good night streaks. Uh, then you'll write GM, good night. And, but you have to remember something, not going to bed yet, because uh, you don't want people to know that you go to bed early. Um, and you can also write something like, what's up? Uh, but again, you have to remember something, sending to everyone because you don't want people to think that they're the only ones receiving the snap, because then they might answer, and that's not the point. Uh, so you might wonder why anyone would use this much time on something just holding these streaks, and I think it varies from person to person. Some might do it because they think it's cool, some might do it because um, they want to keep in touch with others, uh, but I think most people just do it because everyone else does it. Um, but Snapchat is not just used for sending streaks. Uh, it's a great way of keeping up with YouTubers, bloggers, artists, and other celebrities. Uh, and some, I won't say all, but a lot of people also read the news on Snapchat instead of writing long, boring articles. Um, and also, if you have posted a new picture on Instagram, you have to send it to all your friends. Like and comment my new post, because likes. <laughs> Which leads us to Instagram itself. Um, I can start off by saying that it's not enough with one account. Uh, first of all, you need a public one where likes and comments and followers are important, typically called Kristen Magnuson. Uh, then there's a private one with less followers, uh, and that's not enough. You also need a super private account, typically called <laughs> Kristen super private, secret user, unknown for close friends only. Keep it short. Um, and another thing you have to remember on Instagram is that not only must every individual picture look good, they kind of have to fit together. Uh, so, when so when someone is stalking you, your feed kind of looks good. Uh, so here are a few examples. So whenever you're posting a new picture, you post it, then you go straight to your profile, you check if it fits in. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you have to delete it. No matter how good it looks, you have to delete it. Then there's Facebook, or the stalking app as I like to call it. Uh, everyone has Facebook, so you can always find people, uh, which is great. And then we also use it for class groups and spare time activity groups and events. And of course, birthday greetings, which might not always be so fun when you get poster pictures like these posted on your wall. While I'm here, I would also like to give you some advice. Uh, first of all, don't try to act like us to reach us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't get down on all fours while talking to a dog, so please stop saying swag and YOLO and chill, just don't. 
Uh, and also, don't write hashtag, no, sentences with hashtags. That's not how you use them. Uh, hashtag me, hashtag Anne, hashtag my, hashtag friends, hashtag Ash ha ah, has the beach. Uh, and the same goes for long sentences in one hashtag. Hashtag we had a fantastic day in Disneyland. It's not how they work. Uh, then there's a stop telling your life story in the comment field. When I'm changing my profile pic, I don't want to hear what you ate for dinner or about grandpa's digestive problems. Just, <laughs> it's not the place. Um, and stop using this emoji. It's really creepy. Imagine someone, <laughs> <laughs> imagine someone looking you at like this in real life. <laughs> Or even worse, by, while saying something like, saw you in the park today, this emoji. It's not, just don't. Um, so that was it for me. Now I would like to give the stage to the <coughs> Minister of Integration and Education, Mr. Jan Tore Sannach. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> It's for you. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I, I have to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Do you really have time to go to school? <laughs> Before I leave, I would really like to take a snap, if that would be OK. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can make some noise or raise your hands or whatever, OK? OK, that's fine. <laughs>